What is the most regrettable thing in love? It's not that I don't love each other, it's because we have never understood each other. The key of love is not just love is enough, the truth is always the same. I stayed with her just because I felt a bit lonely and teased a bunch of girls. She just responded, and the two of them started to show enthusiasm. The two have been together ever since, gradually becoming love. She enthusiastically told me everything every day, like a cute angel, always saying, oh my god, are we a couple? Conscience is indeed a bit tormented. I did not dare to look her directly in the face, but smiled and nodded, yes, idiot. She has hundreds of annoying things she wants to complain about, share with me, every day. Little things like when I stole her shampoo, the teacher gave her a hard time, with her homework or all, that she couldn't find the special piglet-shaped slipper today. I really have no interest, I simply want to play my king of glory. That's why she began to resent my distraction, suspecting that her place in my mind had changed. I could only reluctantly put my game down and comfort her, with a better tone of, no, you idiot. On Valentine's Day, I really don't know what to buy to cheer her up. Looking back at my bank card only makes me feel more embarrassed. The western restaurant that the two often eat on special occasions has increased prices, which makes me hesitate for a long time to decide to book a table in advance. I began to pray for the day to pass quickly. Recently, she sent a weshit message, saying that she wanted to eat spicy hot pot in front of the school gate. I breathed a sigh of relief, happily rode her bike there, and hesitantly asked, do you really want to eat this on Valentine's Day? She glanced at her, smiled and said, or will you take me to a round table restaurant? I almost forced my mouth to thank her, but in the end, I swallowed it, rolling my eyes and jokingly, I thought it was stupid. There are more and more disagreements between us. She asked me if I had enough money to buy a house in the city center. She was thinking about going on a honeymoon in the Maldives. She also often talked about her best friend, who got a good husband. She said that good people like her deserve to marry good husbands. I was so embarrassed that I cursed loudly, telling her to go find a better person. I really can't serve her personality. I'm tired. She cried until she was confused, but she did not speak anymore. I also became miserable inside. I also wanted to earn more money. Also wanted to give her the best and keep her. But my self-esteem doesn't allow that. I can only pretend to be cold and glare, with an expression that doesn't care and say, that's, what I am, she actually left me, this vanity loving girl will one day regret it, I thought with resentment, I became more and more experienced in the game, relying on the virtual world to vent my emotions, using the ranks and equipment I gained to comfort myself, I gradually saw her figure fill my space, and it was like she was on a trip, but really knowing that I have lost her, all communications with her have been deleted by me, I often go to the place where the two of them used to go, passing the milk tea shop every time I can't help but recall that her favorite flavor is oolong tea, on stormy nights, I would suddenly think back to her worried expression, is she scared or not, so I searched Weibo and clicked to see her current status, it turned out that beside her was another guy, jealousy just makes me feel angry, I want to call and ask her why she started a new love so quickly, if she ever really loved me, but in the end, I still can't call, I'm just her ex. Spring and autumn come, my life gradually returns to the trajectory it should be. I started to realize that the game was no longer interesting, my mind gradually focused on work. My boss saw my efforts, promoted and raised my salary. I gradually became more motivated, focused on my career, gradually saved a large amount of money, and began to be able to talk about marriage and having children. I interacted with a few girls, looking back and forth they all asked about salary, house and car. My heart is cold again, indeed, the current girls are all the same. I finally found a simple and reasonable girl. She knows when to be hot, when to be cold, knows how to take care of me and doesn't ask too much of me. I thought to myself that God wasn't too bad for me. Then one day, I happened to meet that little girl on the street corner. The guy next to her wasn't the person in the previous photo. At first glance, he is a normal guy, but his eyebrows and eyes are somewhat similar to mine. She is still a girl who talks and laughs non-stop, while the other guy slightly lowers his head, tilts his face to listen attentively. The smile on the corner of his lips can't be hidden. Suddenly her four eyes met. She suddenly let go of the man's clasped hands, both of them were a little surprised. After that, we simply said hello, then parted. I suddenly just want to hold her tight, asking if the guy with her is better than me. But in the end, I just chose to leave. Perhaps a few sayings, should only be buried deep in the heart, 